Welcome back. Um, it is The Poetess, and today we are celebrating our fifth anniversary um, in business here at Morris Media Studios. We are a, a professional podcast studio here in Lamert Park. People can do podcasts, voiceovers, audiobooks, and we're here um, with council member Marquise Dawson Harris. I mean, Harris Dawson, I always get it twisted. Mm-hmm. Harris Dawson from the 8th District, and I would like to welcome you. It's good to, to be here. So thank you for having you. It's having me. It's inspiring to be in this building. Uh, I was just commenting on how I was here when it was just a shell, and you all were laying out your vision. And to see it, it live and in living color is really great today. We're, we're happy to support. Uh, you know, we think uh, that the work you do in particular uh, and all the artists that you help bring up is really critical to making our community what it is. Um, I think it's been, I don't, I don't want to put you on blast, but you know, it's been a couple decades since I first sat uh, behind a microphone with you as a host uh, oh. in this town. So, uh, you know, you're, you're a legacy, uh, for us, you're a legacy business. Thank and you. Uh, we want to do everything to make sure that you have everything you need to be successful. Well, I appreciate that so much. So for all the people in the 8th District, what are some of the things that we could look forward to from your office? Well, you know, I, I mean, I think a couple of things. I think the big thing that all of us in the city, the state, any kind of government anywhere in Southern California and in California, frankly, our number one, two, three, four and five thing is homelessness. Like we mm-hmm. got to deal with it. So just today, my deputy came here and you know, discovered there was an encampment nearby and we've got to get deal with that and make sure that encampments don't take hold uh, in our neighborhoods and in our communities. Uh, and we have in our communities what you see on Skid Row. At the same time, we've got to do it in a way that is supportive, that builds people up, that puts gets people back on their feet. And so I was proud to author a proposition HHH, which gives a billion dollars to create homeless housing. But we've got to get the housing built. And so you'll start to see those facilities come online. Hopefully, as those facilities come online, uh, we stop having new homeless people because uh, these, these rents are really just out of control. Uh, also, we have a bridge home shelter that in two weeks will be opening. That'll be 100 beds, 33 for women, 67 for men. Uh, and just a host of developments to try to get our people off the street. Folks should know uh, about 48% of the homeless population in LA County is African American. Uh, and, you know, that many of us believe that's no mistake. That's no coincidence. That goes along with everything else that happens in, the, in this country. Uh, and so that's what we push on. Uh, it, the, the other thing that's really important for, for, for Morris Media is, and this studio is, it's on Crenshaw Boulevard. And as you know, we're putting our flag in the ground on Crenshaw. We have something called Destination Crenshaw. We're going to bring the art, the culture, uh, uh, the, the vibe of our people and our community and our history right on the boulevard. So you see it when you go down the street. So that as the world comes here, and everybody's coming to Los Angeles right now, as the world comes here, they know Crenshaw is Crenshaw. Mm -hmm. And it conjures for them the same things that we think. Community, I mean, I was just at a film this week um, that Ava DuVernay uh, premiered about the good life Mm -hmm. uh, from the early 90s. This is the life. This is the life up on the northern part of Crenshaw. And then, you know, we had Chaos Network right here in Lamert Park. And we also had the Good Life um, health food store. That's right. That with the Warrior Earlier MCs used to come. That was our Apollo. That's right. Back then. That's right. Because B. Hall ran the good life. She gave a lot of the um, local rappers an opportunity every Thursday night, I believe it was, to go on stage and flex their skills. But she had one rule. You could not cuss. That's right. And if you got on that stage and cussed, you weren't ever allowed to come back. And that whole good life thing really was the um, the center of underground hip hop. That's right. That's here right. Here in Los Angeles on Crenshaw. That's right. And and uh, you know it had the, the it had the pass the mic tradition. If, if you got mic. up and you were you if you made cart- it at the good life, you were a good MC. You were a very they good would, MC. They would boo you off. And you know and and uh, several folks that are wi- widely known. Freestyle Fellowship is yes. sort of the chief. And Ava the, DuVernay herself. Ava DuVernay herself. People, I don't know. She was really. She's uh, an MC. I think she, yeah, she was an MC back in the day. Yeah. Um, you know, Jurassic Five and a host of other groups. And so that happens on Crenshaw Boulevard. Chaos Network happens on uh, Crenshaw Boulevard. 
the Marathon Store yes. uh, of late happens on Crenshaw Boulevard. And so it re- this really is a cultural icon. I could go on and talk about the churches that we've had on Crenshaw yes. and, the, and the jazz clubs that we've had on Crenshaw, mm-hmm. Dwight Tribble and Horace Tass- Tapscott and and the jazz tradition that that happens what, the, what right, you, what, on Crenshaw. So we so we want to memorialize that work and so make the Crenshaw Wall the okay. piece of artwork that it should be, the masterpiece that it should be, mm-hmm. uh, by by rebuilding it, fortifying it, and bringing back as many of the original artists as we can uh, to do their work. And then we'll have a situation where you can point your phone at the Crenshaw Wall. And your phone will pull up the history of the what you're looking at, who the artist is, what the history of the community is, so on and so forth. We'll have six parklets, about thirty, uh, about four thousand square feet of, of new greenery. Nice. Um, you, you know, is that for us though? That Art, is for us. Uh, because no, we're is, hearing so is, much about gentrification. This is like, for so this is for us and by us, and, and okay. I'm glad you raised the point of gentrification. Look, you can't uh, leave the community as a blank slate. And then get upset that people come and want to paint on it. Mm-hmm. You've got to assert your identity in the space before that happens. And that's what Destination Crenshaw is meant to do. Is to, so when you arrive, you know where you are. You know uh, who the, what the identification is of the community. Mm-hmm. I was just uh, in New York City uh, uh, last month. And when you get dropped off in Harlem... You know you're in Harlem, and it's very, very clear. And no matter what is going on in the rest of Manhattan and, and, and really, frankly, the most gentrified city in the country, New York City, no matter what else is happening, when I get off at 125th Street and Lenox Avenue, I know I see the Apollo Theater, that means something. I see the Adam Clayton Powell statue, that means something. I see but Harlem Sylvia's has changed a lot, too. Ha- Harlem has changed a lot, but compare Harlem to any other part of Manhattan. Compare Harlem to Tribeca. Compare Harlem to, to Alphabet City. Compare Harlem to Williamsburg and Brooklyn. There's no comparison. You go to Harlem, you still are in an ethnic community. We think that we can build that on purpose mm-hmm. here on Crenshaw Boulevard in our in our time. And uh, it's a hundred million dollar project. We've raised about forty three million, and and uh, we think we're going to get it done. Okay. So how do you think um, um, a business like mine, a podcast studio, could be more involved and more instrumental? And helping well, and there, serving the community. Th- that's a that's a very good uh, point. Uh, so there are few, a few things I think we need to get as many of our businesses to do as they can. One is uh, we need business improvement districts, right? So where businesses come together and figure out what the most high priority needs are for their area, which is going, what things uh, can happen to help facilitate them making more money in their business, frankly, and getting more traffic. And coming together and working with the city to make those things happen. So that's important. So we also have the uh, Crenshaw Art and Culture Business Council. Uh, that really is a companion to Destination Crenshaw. And that's how businesses get involved in, in the Destination Crenshaw uh, project. Also, I think at every opportunity, uh, we br- you bring people to Crenshaw Boulevard. Like that, mm-hmm. you know, because if you bring them once and they have a good experience, they'll come back. And, and we every, bring celebrities. That's right. Yeah, bring, absolutely. We bring some and, good and folks. And hopefully, <laughs> and over time, we'll have a place for them to eat. We'll yes. have a place for them to drink. I mean, you know, the, the, the other big icon that I missed when I was talking about the cultural icons is totally experience. Yeah. A little bit before our time. Yes. But uh, not again, before mine. I was, <laughs> but, I was off the heels of that. <laughs> but the, the again, total experience is key because it, it demonstrates the cultural significance of the Crenshaw Corridor. And, and, the black community Maverick in Los Flat. and Maverick Flats. I mean, yeah. you could go on. Yeah. But the point is, we want to make sure the world knows about that. Mm-hmm. Los Angeles is the creative capital of the world. It's largely because of the Crenshaw District. Um, are you surprised that the, um, the, the love and um, respect that Nipsey has gotten since he's passed? You know, I, uh, uh, yes and no. Because you've I, worked with him. We on worked a, very closely several, on, a, yes. on, on a few projects, including Destination Crenshaw. The, I, I was surpri- surprised and not surprised. I, I, he's one of these people that anybody who met him had the mm-hmm. same reaction. Mm-hmm. One, you knew you were meeting someone. You, this is only a once in a lifetime kind of person you're going to meet. Uh, and two, uh, he's... Uh, he liked to use the word uh, charismatic. I always thought he was very, very empathic. Mm-hmm. Uh, he could, whenever he talked to somebody, he could pull out of you what your dreams and your visions were, mm-hmm. and he would encourage you on the spot. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that is, you know, that's a gift that endears people to you. Uh, and, and when he did that on record, he did that on purpose, and I think he did that from the grave as well. Okay. So, you know, I, I think... Um, I've never seen 
in my lifetime, and I've watched, you know, Biggie Smalls, I've watched Tupac Shakur, uh, and a host of other people. Um, I've never seen a single individual raise consciousness the way that Nipsey Hussle did when he passed. And, you know, the consciousness is um, to be economically empowered. That's right. That's right. Um, I've seen uh, a lot of younger and older folks inspired by his entrepreneurialism. That's right. It, it, it's so inspiring. And I, and I will tell you, you know, do, you know, when I get elected, I think I've been in office uh, just shy of five years now. You get elected oh, okay. and, pe- and people say, people come up to you and say, oh, yeah, I want to do something in the community. I want to, you know, people who have wealth for one reason or another, oftentimes because they're a celebrity. I, it has been dizzying to me. How many people, how the conversation has changed since Nipsey passed from I want to do something to I'm doing this. You know, mm-hmm. uh, I, we just had an NBA player the other day who I've run into a, a few times. He came to me, he's like, yeah, I just closed on two buildings on Crenshaw. I was like, you did what? Like, you kidding me? He was like, yeah. He said, you know, I, I have been saying I was going to do it and I was planning to do it. I grew up here. You know, I want to invest. I have to invest. He's like, but when Nip passed, I was like, I got to get this done now. And you're seeing a lot of that energy and you'll see more and more uh, exciting announcements uh, from a lot of talent that we produced, which has always been one of my things. We produce all this talent and art and creativity and we never see the benefit of it. The mm-hmm. benefit of it is realized all over the world, except mm-hmm. in our community. Mm-hmm. You're going to see a lot of that talent come back and invest and we're going to begin to see some of the benefits. OK, well, I want to be a part of it. You will. Absolutely. So, you're at the center of it. You're right on Crenshaw Boulevard. Like there's no other place to be. Yes. Well, I want to thank you. Thank is you. there anything else you want to share no, before just congr- we wrap just, up? I just want to share my congratulations and, and well wishes. And, you know, you've got our number. Make sure you call us if anything, uh, there's any way we, <laughs> we can be If there's any helpful. trash in the alley, yeah, I well, up. Which, yeah. <laughs> thank you. I want to shout out Dina. Yes. Um, she's also amazing. Um, she's in the same industry I was in. That's uh, right. Well, I'm still in it, but in a different so she's she, she's, uh, she's Dr. Dina Andrews. Dr. She, Dina she got Andrews. Her doctorate this week, uh, and, Pastor. Oh, wow. Congratulations. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now we can say, What's up, Doc? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so I want to thank you again. Thank you. I think I'm going to wrap up and finally go outside and dance and, and have some fun. Financial support into this. Oh, see, look at Linda. We can. She, she's, got, she's, got, she's got our number. So. so not trying to dodge that that question. The question was, can you put some financial support? There are lots of programs for there are, there are lots of programs for small businesses in the city of Los Angeles, and I will tell you, our people access them the least. No, let me tell you, I've applied for community. I've been turned down for from for every loan that I've applied for from these little community programs so i'm not a fan of all that Mm -hmm. like show me because the thing is if we had credit if we had all this stuff that you guys read yeah yeah. Yeah. so it doesn't make any sense to me so so i do think there are programs that are not credit programs that are grants uh which are which are the ones i push because i agree with you if you have credit you don't need credit right that's the, the kind of deal but there are grant programs and again they are they are complicated and frankly my opinion is they were created in a way it, that our people wouldn't access them, right? So that they're, they're, you know, it's no mistake that our people don't access them because when you see what the setup is, you see what the setup they want to know with your firstborn child. I mean, it's just too many hoops it's a to lot. jump. But but through. but for all the hoops they put up, there are ways around those hoops. And if we work together, I think we can get it. Okay, done. and I, just I'm FYI, I'm our vision here that. also is not only to build a polished. Um, talk work Mm -hmm. uh talk network but we want to do a broadcast academy here to teach kids broadcasting and podcasting um we've had interns here that have gone on to get actually really good professional jobs in media so we'll talk further more about that i just want you to to know that this is a bigger vision um we want to impact our young people here Mm -hmm. as well Mm -hmm. so very cool. But again, thank you. And thank you. I will be in touch. Absolutely. Absolutely. And um, we're, we're going to talk about having here more often so you can. I would love speak to come to by to, to update uh, folks. I don't know what programs, you know, make sense, but I'm always happy to come. Dina and I are okay. talking about it. Okay, so good. So we'll work good, it out. Good, good. But, um, hey, Trump has a political channel, so somebody else needs one. 
Yeah. Does he? Yeah. <laughs> you never. Yeah, you never. It's yeah. named after an animal that's kind of like a dog. Oh, well, dang, what is that? <laughs> well, we thank you guys for tuning in. We're going to go and enjoy some of the festivities. And again, thank you, Councilor. Thank you for so much. By. And thank congratulations you. again. Thank you. We out.